Is it time? Hello and welcome to Charger Jeopardy! I'm your host, Tristan Wasserman, and on today's show, we'll have some fun Thanksgiving trivia. Now, welcome our contestants for today! What's up, I'm John, and I'm gonna win because I'm the real Slim Shady. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Georgia, and I'm gonna win because I play rugby. Uh, my name is Don Ben, and I'm gonna win because um, um, I play lacrosse. Look at that. And now, moving on to our first category for today, we're gonna do Gobble Gobble for 100. How many turkeys are prepared for Thanksgiving a year? On average, 500,000, 12 to 15 million, depending on the year, 46 million, or 1 billion? Ask me. Ooh, I think it has to go to John. <laughs> we're going C, 46 million. C, 46 million, let's see that answer. 46 million was correct, and John gets the 100 yes. points, and he gets yes, to choose sir. our next category. Yes, sir. Um, we're going to do a history check for 300. History check for 300. Let's see that question. What disease did the pilgrims bring to the first Thanksgiving? A, influenza, B, smallpox, B, leptospirosis, or D, turkey? That's disqualified. No, she hit it before. See, I watched that time, and Georgia, unfortunately, you went before I finished the question, and you do not get to answer, and John got right after, so I'm gonna give it to John again. Where Sorry, Dylan, you're still too slow. <laughs> We're gonna go A, influenza. A, influenza, let's see. It was actually leptospirosis, oh, which is responsible wrong. for as much as nine. Who's ever heard of, of leptospirosis? <laughs> it was an option. Well, in reality, it was most of them. It was all of them, but leptospirosis was the one that took out 90% of the Native American population. That's a trick question. That's a trick question. Moving on, so John will lose 300 points on that one, <laughs> but you get to choose our next category. You get to choose. <laughs> Uh, I guess we'll do gobble gobble for 300. Gobble gobble for 300. What percentage of Americans skip turkey on Thanksgiving? A. Oh my gosh. You messed it. George, I forgot you the you, Just kick her out. This isn't even. <laughs> Georgia, you're disqualified from answering this question. You have to wait until I say the question and all of the options, unfortunately. So, our, going back, what percentage of Americans skip turkey on Thanksgiving? A. 1.5. B. 12, C, 35, or D, 0.01 percent. All right. That one was Dylan. I'm gonna go A, 15 percent. A, A, A 1.5. Wait, 1.5. Wait, what did you that read? Let's go 1.5. 1.5, all right, let's see. Unfortunately, 12 percent was. Yeah. Oh, so Dylan's going to lose the 300 points on that one. <laughs> oh, she's weird. But he gets to choose our next category. <laughs> I'll go history check. History, history check is 500. <laughs> history check for 500. Let's see. True or false, George Washington refused to celebrate Thanksgiving as a national holiday. Oh, you're not going to say true or false now? I oh. said at the beginning. Never mind. It wasn't oh. a multiple choice, Georgia. <laughs> hey, you know what? Georgia's false. having fun today. <laughs> Did, false? Let's see. Can I say true? No. That is indeed false. It was Thomas Jefferson who refused to celebrate Thanksgiving. Barely, bro. Um, anyway. All right, Dylan, you get the 500 points on that one, but you get to choose our next category. History check? 100. History check for 100. Let's see. True or false, Christopher Columbus landed in Florida on October 12th, 1942. Just give it to me. No, he was still on. Um, Ooh. No. No. When you, no. 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 We're not going to play me here. No. Yeah. Reroll the clip. Hi, guys. So. We all make mistakes. Please don't hurt me, Dylan. <laughs> Replay. How about we do some rock, paper, scissors? What about me? Get out of here, Georgie. This has nothing to do with you. All right, best 
like sudden death? Just one, just sudden death. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. So Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. 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 Yes, let's go. We win though. Why was it so aggressive? That is true. He did land in Florida. All right, let's see. That is very false. Christopher Columbus oh. landed. What? That's Christopher so Columbus landed in the Bahamas in the 1600s. It's okay, I haven't gotten Dog. one right. No so. shot. Christopher Columbus actually never made it to the Americas and died of syphilis. Moving on, John, you get to choose our next category. All right. Um, let's get get lost in a maze for 500. What was the points for that one? Uh, it was 100. So John lost 100 points on that one. John's a so little strawberry. Up, right? yes. Yeah. Yes, you are winning. Good. I'm not. Get lost in a maze for 500. Get lost in a maze for 500. Let's see. I'm, I'm getting this. Corn is an ingredient to this explosive accessory to celebration, often seen in the summertime. <laughs> yes, Georgia? Fireworks. Fireworks, let's see. That is indeed correct as Georgia finally makes her way onto the scoreboard with 500 <laughs> points and, and gets to choose <laughs> our next I'll category. Choose another one? Okay. Um, get lost in the maze for 300. Get lost in the maze for 300. When ground into corn flour and burnt, corn can be used as a substitute for this early morning drink. Oh, Georgia, go ahead. No, no one knows the answer. You do. Go ahead. I want you to lose points. <laughs> wait, do I lose points if no one answers? Yeah. Oh. Yep. Oh wait, so I'm just gonna guess. Good. Go ahead. Hit your buzzer. I'm encouraging your your absolute L here. A morning drink. <laughs> yes, Georgia. <laughs> Dang it, I do know it. Do you? I mean, I was gonna guess. I know, too. I don't. Coffee. Let's see. If it's coffee, I'm gonna be so mad. Coffee is indeed the answer. Oh my God. And Georgia yeah. gets 300 oh, points on that. Oh. I wish I thought it. I was gonna say, oh, I All right, Georgia. Oh. You pick oh, up yeah. 300 points and you get to choose our next category. Um, we'll do this year I'm thankful for for 500. This year I'm thankful for for 500. The first patented one of these was created by American Edward J. Claghorn on February 10th, 1885, in order to keep tourists safe in taxis in New York City. Can you repeat the question? <laughs> <laughs> is this a multiple choice? No, obviously not, Georgia, because yeah, yeah. there's not multiple choices up there, so. Mm. I got you. Thank you. That's awkward. Go ahead, answer. I'm not gonna Ten answer. Ten seconds so on the clock. So I do, I, do I have to get the point? Yep. Otherwise what, you lose 500? Anyways. Turkey. Yeah, you'll lose 500. Five. I don't know the Four, answer. Four, three, I think I'm up now. two, I'm tired. lose one. that five. All right, Georgia. The last guess, any, any idea? No. No? Let's see. The seat belt was the correct answer. See, I don't even so want to when I drive, so this is, <laughs> I wouldn't answer that. Well, Dylan, that's what we call natural selection. <laughs> <laughs> so Georgia will lose 500 <laughs> points on that one, <laughs> and she gets to choose you our next category. Who's up right now? Is that 300 points, buddy? Oh, oh my. Currently, Georgia is in the lead by 100. So, seconded by Dylan. And yeah, John, you're thought. in the negative with negative 200. <laughs> yes, sir. Okay, I'm going to do get lost in a maze for 100. Lost in a maze for 100. Let's see. True or false, corn originated from a wild grass in what is modern day Nevada? <laughs> That's on me. Thank you. I saw John hit it first. No! I, I did. My, I had my. Oh, snap! No! I corn! Um, I love me some corn, but it was not originated in modern day Nevada, so false. Let's see. That is indeed false. It originated in Mexico. Maze. John gets 100 points on that one, and you get to choose our next category. <laughs> All right, we'll do, um, this year I'm thankful for for 100. I this year I'm thankful for for 100. Time. Let's see. In 1923, Frederick Banting and John McLeod received the Nobel Peace Prize for their discovery of this life-saving medicine for people with diabetes. I know this. Yes, Georgia? Is it insulin? Insulin. Let's see. Insulin is indeed... No one cares, bro. Like, no. You're mad, Luke. And that's what a loser says, Dylan. Yeah, facts. <laughs> All right, Georgia, you get to choose our next category, and you pick up 100 points along the way. Mm-hmm. Uh, what of this year I'm thankful for for 300. This year I'm thankful for for 300. On January 1st, 1983, a group of scientists came together and created the ARPNET, which has now evolved into this everyday necessity. Oh. Go ahead. Go ahead, Jordan. Sus. Okay. Can I, we have a hint? Mm -hmm. Can I phone a friend? 
Yes, on January 1st, 1983, a group of scientists came together and created the ARPNET, which has evolved into this now everyday necessity. <laughs> I don't know. Am I still gonna win if I get this wrong? No. Uh, everyday yeah. necessity? Yeah, no. Bro, it's gotta be like and 10 seconds left what on the clock. What is it? Arf, ARFNET? ARFNET? What does it say? It's on the screen. <laughs> oh, <the> attitude. <laughs> Scientists came together and created the art name. I don't even know Five, what that is. Four. Okay. I'll three. Take the two. Two. kind. One. Dash. All right, Georgia. Yeah, I don't know. No answer. No. Not even a guess. Um, chair. <laughs> chair. A chair is your final answer. Yeah. Buddy. Let's see. The internet was the correct answer to that, and Georgia. What does this have to do with Thanksgiving? Because <laughs> they're thankful oh, for th it. This category is things that you are now thankful for that you use every day oh. to, to save your life. Oh. Modern day adventures. I'm trying to win here. I think I can still win. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, thankful time. for the internet. Yeah, that's a good one. <gasps> now, Georgia loses 300 points on that one, but you get to choose our last category. Um, who's in the lead? Uh, currently, it is Dylan at 200. It's a very close what? game. He's not winning. There's oh my gosh, I might win and I've answered <laughs> twice. Whoever Let's wins. go. Whoever gets this next question correct will be in the lead. But that does not mean they win because we still have the final factile to determine our fates. <laughs> Alright, well, come on. Let's do this. Alright, let's see Gobble Gobble for 500. Which president pardoned a turkey while in office? A. JFK, B. George Washington, C. Martin Van Buren, or D. Abraham Lincoln? Dylan hit it first. Oh, no! Oh, I, got, I got D. Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln. Let's see. No. Oh. It was John F. Kennedy. Dylan, you should have known that. He's on your buzzer after all. So. So Dylan, Just remember this in third place. Yeah. It was you fumbled. Oh, so I Dylan, you're gonna lose the 500 points on that one. I just yeah. lost. I lost. That's okay, guys. Georgia won. <laughs> and before we move on to the final factile, a quick word from today's sponsor. As you choose which classes to sign up for next year, consider principles of broadcasting. You'll learn how to be a visual storyteller through shooting and editing video, making a short film, music video, and commercials, all while earning college credits through Ivy Tech. And if you go on to Audio and Video Production Essentials, you'll get to work in Studio 415, Carol's regional and state award-winning news show. And after that, if you choose to take mass media production, you'll have the opportunity to get creative and make your own short films, podcasts, music videos, and more. Plus, you'll have box three on your graduation checklist completed and up to nine college credits through Ivy Tech. So if you're thinking about a career in film, broadcasting, communications, visual arts, or you just want to add some excitement to your schedule, sign up for Principles of Broadcasting. It's free, open to all grades, and most of all, fun. Hope to see you there. All right, so for today's final fact tile, it is indeed from the This Year I'm Thankful For category, and we have another tense situation here. Instead of doing a wager, because we have such low scores, and two of our opponents are in the negative, but it's still so close, we're going to be playing for a 500-point question, and whoever gets it correct wins. All right, the first one of these invented in 1902 by Willis Haviland Carrier in order to solve an application issue at a printing plant in Brooklyn, New York. The printer oh, press. The printer press. The Let's printing see press? that answer. I was going to say something it's else. It's definitely... Uh, air conditioning no unit cares. was correct. Okay. And Dylan loses 500 points on that one, meaning Georgia is today's winner. Yeah, that's Whoa. what I thought. Good game, though. No, I don't want to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> and that's all for today, folks. Well, Georgia, how'd you like your time on Charger Jeopardy? It was great. I'm glad I won. Well, we were glad to have you here. Thanks for coming. For Studio 415. <laughs> heavy. Oh, arms are heavy. <laughs> I'm sweating already. Mom's again. He's nervous. 
Final circle seat looks calm, ready. Drop bomb. For Studio 415, I'm Tristan Wasserman. <laughs> <laughs>